The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Boring. <laughs> oh, come on. Jesus Christ, I've had better introductions when I just walk into work. <laughs> My and grandmother introduces me better than that, and she's dead. Yeah, yeah, well, that's good. Fuck and you, Scotty. That's all right. Uh, and we also have back, finally back, uh, none other than the 2021 Wichita's Funniest Person, Derek the Wreck Alders. I hope a horse kicks you in the face. That, that's possible. You know, oh. me on the barn. We're on not on yeah. good terms, Scotty. Why? What did I do to you? You fucking let somebody put a fucking Packers thing up here <laughs> and took my Bears helmet off. He spent a half hour disinfecting that microphone. <laughs> I am all about, like, letting people with Down syndrome on the show. <laughs> so... I'm going to let it slide that, that Eric came on yeah. because, I mean, he needs his moment. I mean, that's, that's right. like the only thing he has to hang his hat on. Yeah. But uh, you let him take the Bears helmet down and put a fucking piece of cheese. <laughs> By the way, that wasn't a hat. <laughs> no, no. That it was, was a, actual cheese. That was real cheese. <sighs> it, it, the guy loves his dairy. Yeah. yeah I'm <laughs> lactose intolerant. <laughs> now, what what if he offered to host the show? No. Really? really? No. Oh, my uh, God. I debated on coming back. <laughs> oh, this is I not... do that every fucking week. Yeah. I, I have never seen Derek, like, text so angry after oh. he saw that episode. Oh, my goodness. I was fucking pissed. Because <laughs> then I was like, oh, God. And then I saw that this was gone uh -huh. and the cheese was there, and I was like, fuck him. <laughs> I'm going to get a shitload of Dallas Cowboys <laughs> stuff and parade it all over yeah. this fucking desk. Yeah, okay. All right. Now that would hurt. But okay, there's yeah. no reason to get fucking hateful. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we just burn a cross and be done with it? <laughs> Jesus. I'm saving that for this weekend. I only got one left. <laughs> and I've got new neighbors. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Perfect welcome, time to use it. Well, welcome in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This, if you haven't already figured out yet, it is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. 95% of the time, they are direct towards me anyways. But this is also an adult podcast where we like to make, uh, you know, uh, well, use foul language and make loud noises. And so if that, fuck a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of your thing. A lot like, of man-on-man -man action. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a man witch over here. That's right. Helicopter. We touch wieners. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, my God. We, we touch tips. <laughs> we like to call that docking. Uh, no. <laughs> come on. We don't get that graphic. Uh, yeah, we're all, we're we're all cut. Right. We just touch the tips. Okay. Yeah, we're all cut here. No okay. docking. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways, we've got a lot of stuff. Speaking of dockets we got a lot of stuff on the docket. We've got uh, some NFL news. We have uh, finished up the wild card week. Uh, as always, we got real shit horse it was shit. It a super wild card week, Scotty. It was a sorry, mm -hmm. super, super de duper wild card week. Fucking stupid. <laughs> We've got bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But before we get off to that, uh, we're going to get off to our week, week recap. Tell us uh, what's been going on over the last week. But for Derek, he's been gone for two. Where you been, bud? COVID. No shit. Yeah, I got COVID again. <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. I think God hates you. So No. I, I think, think COVID he, likes you. I think <laughs> that's what I think. Yeah? That's nice because I had your garage code and I just came over and just coughed all over your toothbrush Shocking. while you were at work. I'm surprised. Which, which COVID was it? Was this 19? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah um, it's still the 19. Still the 19. Got the, I think I got the old Omicron is what I got because I didn't lose my taste or smell this time. Nope. Your throat hurt, but was that because of COVID or was that somebody else? I don't get it. Okay. Was that, was that supposed to be a sick burn? 
Yeah. Damn, that was good. <laughs> Sorry, I could have done. Damn, that. is it hot in here? Is it me? <laughs> that was one sick burn. Jesus, like I think got, I got COVID again. That it's burn like you was got so a sick. Fucking fever from the COVID. <laughs> oh, I got a, a fire extinguisher upstairs. Want me to put you out? Jesus Christ, I ain't been yeah. burned that bad since I got my last fire stick. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyways, where you been? What, what's been going on? I had COVID, man. Well, I, I, I know. I, it sucked because I really didn't feel that bad. I just. Yeah. Got it. I tested at work and they were like, oh, well, oh shit, go home. So <laughs> oh, that was that. Did I you? would gladly get COVID if it meant I didn't have to do this <laughs> fucking <laughs> show for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I was really hoping to get put on a ventilator. Oh, man. Where, where are you? Then you don't even have to talk. I know. <laughs> just, just lay yeah. there. Shut up. I'm breathing. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's so fucking bad. No. <laughs> no. So, yeah, I mean, I did that, fixed my fence finally, mm -hmm. got that done. My buddy Max came over and helped me with that and was a fucking godsend. I think I deserve partial credit for this. Yeah, Jeremy cut a board for me. <laughs> big, big help. I, I, want, I want on the plaque that you're going to put to dedicate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you and the sawhorse that sacrificed its life. <laughs> <laughs> I did put a little rip in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, man, there's a, my buddy Max brought over, he has a bobcat and he brought a bobcat over a yank, like the old fence posts out that were concreted yeah. in that had snapped off. So thank Jesus, God. He, they're strong. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. Those bobcats. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, you're not talking about the animal. No, the animal. Oh, oh okay. That's yeah. Say. Nice. Yeah. Usually they can't be trained. Yeah. <laughs> they just yeah. I really call you up and yeah. We still miss our dog, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it's just still fresh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But, sure. But uh, but that dog wasn't gonna pull out the fucking fence post, was he? <laughs> no, no. eight pounds. Uh, -huh. uh. So he brought that over, and then he had this bar that was like twenty five pounds. It kind of looked like an oar. Like, mm. a, like a boat oar. Okay. Like Michael oar? Yeah, like yeah. Michael oar. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Like a really skinny baby Michael oar. <laughs> 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 Dear tiny eight pound Michael oar. <laughs> Ain't even been adopted yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't even been abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god! Don't even know how to read. Yeah, <laughs> that. But that could have been adult Michael or two. Oh uh, shit! So I'm fucking. He, my buddy's like 26, and he's hitting. The, he's got this thing. It weighs about 30 pounds, and he's smacking at the concrete that's buried there mm -hmm. that you concrete the post in with, and it's chunking it. That's what it's for. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I said you did the first one. Let me do the second one. And he's like, all right. So I start. And A, my aim is fucking, I got the aim of a fucking retarded blind guy. Yeah. And uh, missed about the first three and then finally got it. I hit it about three times. So I took about six or seven fucking tries at this thing and I am fucking winded. <laughs> I am done. Yeah. And he's like, here, I'll help. And he grabs that thing and just fucking is leaping around. Like, I just, j fuck, I felt so old. <laughs> Were you knocking, did the concrete stick to the posts or was it down in the ground? It was down the ground. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So the post snapped. Some of it still had, but some of it still had concrete stuck to it, but some of it didn't. And we busted that up. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Quick question. Should you my jackhammer. Quick question. Yeah. Was that. By that, I'm talking about my cock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course you are. Uh, but quick question. Was that your first hint that you were a little bit out of shape? Yeah. That was it. That was it? Oh, yeah. He man. had no idea up Fuck. until that point. Up until that yeah. point. Huh? Hey, I was running fucking three miles at the gym. Hey, buddy. That's true. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, I could not fucking keep up, keep up with that guy and just trying to. He was fucking four of me. Like yeah. there is no, I'm four. I'm four of him size wise. He's mm -hmm. four of me energy wise. Yeah. So I couldn't have done that without him, and that was a huge thank you. Uh, booked a few comedy shows nice. today. Nice. I'll be in Ellenwood, Kansas on Saturday. I don't know where the fuck that's at, but it's I, th I think right in the middle of the state. Yep. And then Ellenwood, uh, it's actually it's up by Great Bend, I believe. Yeah, I think oh, it's okay. between Great Bend and Hayes or yep. something. Yeah. So yep. I'll be up there. Uh, Mike Baldwin uh, messaged me and asked me to do that. So if you're up in Ellenwood, fuck me. Mike Baldwin's hilarious. Go watch him. <laughs> show up late. Is Alec going to show? Uh, no, no. Okay. I don't think so. He's got some issues He's, going on. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, but some of the other brothers are. Okay. Uh, okay. Steven, yeah. Billy, yeah. Yeah. get them out there. Yeah. <laughs> so did that. I don't think I really did much else. Just yeah. went out to the bars and had a great New Year's Eve. With COVID? Yeah, that's nice. where I got COVID. Oh, New okay. Year's. Okay. Went out to the bar after COVID. Okay. So yeah, yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, my week's been pretty boring. Watched a lot of football. That's good. That's good. So, uh, well, um, I had a pretty fun week, uh, and then a bad one. But I'll get to the fun stuff first. I uh, I got all these guys. Save uh, the best for last. Yep. 
I got all the all these guys' new Funko Pops. So if you're watching us on YouTube, I got some cool ones. I'm pretty pumped about. What is with the Funko Pop? Dude, I don't know. I don't. I like it's this new obsession thing that I have. They're like you have it now. Uh, yeah. Why? I just I don't know. I think they're cool. They're they're like pop culture uh, nostalgia kind they're of. They're like thing. action figures that you can't do anything with. Right. Like, do, uh, do their heads bubble? Yours do. They're like Ooh. anime. You got three bobbleheads over there, Jeremy. Captain America. One's mine. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's you can keep the other. Okay, but just don't knock them over oh, like that. Jesus Christ! You killed it. Yeah, you killed. Hulk's down. Oh, Hulk, Hogan. Hulk, Hulk. When you pick him back up, he starts breathing real heavy yeah, and man. shaking his yeah. head. No, that's me. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. what I do. Exactly. Um, no, Hulk struggles to stand he gets up. He's angry and he's shakes have, his fist. He's gonna have to lean up against a helmet. He ain't gonna stand up. Yeah, keep trying. See what happens. That head's way too big. <laughs> it's way too big for him. All what right. if he got it, Scotty? How stupid would you feel? Uh, uh, that's what I'm doing the whole show. Yeah, just trying to just trying to just keep him standing up. Isn't that it? Uh but yeah, I got that. So uh Derek Derek's got Hulk Hogan. Uh Jeremy's got uh what do you got? Darth Vader and and Captain America. Oh shit. Fuck you. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 he got fucking Hulk Mania stand up. Uh I got Hulk Mania never falls, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Do you want me to here, dude? <laughs> Just fuck there, somebody fix it. I but yeah, uh um, wow, you knocked him down. You're like Zeus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh let's see. What do you what who do you got? You got uh you got Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, and Macho Man Ray Savage. I have another one that hasn't got here yet, but I'm pretty pumped about mine. I got Sanka, bro. Yeah. From Cool Runnings. Uh, oh, not the decaf coffee Instagram. No, oh. no. I'm more pissed off than anything that a coworker that I ha- that I work with today. He's uh, I think he's twenty three years old, and I asked uh if he's seen the movie Cool Runnings and he said no. He doesn't know. He has no idea about the Jamaican bobsled team. I think I gave. Well, a girl if you a watch that movie, time. neither does anybody. I <laughs> know it's not a real. It's no. not a true story at all. But it's based on one. Other than Jamaica had a bobsled, a bobsled team. team. Yeah, that's right. I think I gave a chick a Sanka once. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's two in the stink, and then the same two in her nostrils. <laughs> oh my god! That'll wake you up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that will. <laughs> um, Got to have it with breakfast, uh-huh. right? Uh, but, uh, that was the fun part of my, uh, of my week. The bad part of my week was on Sunday. I was, uh, watching football and, uh, I was wearing socks. We got new floors put in the house. Uh, it's been about six to eight months. I can't remember. And uh, I've told you a thousand times. I don't like you in a sock. I know I was wearing socks and I was going a little too fast to try to get back down to watch a big play in the game. And I ate shit down my stairs. You know, it was What's, weird. What, when was that? That was Sunday. What time? Uh, I want to say it was like two. I randomly got a boner at two on Sunday. <laughs> oh, was that I'm right? wondering if they were related. Oh, God. I threw a food doll down my stairs. <laughs> like, <laughs> then I get a boner and Scotty gets uh-huh. hurt. I did. I legitimately hurt myself. I, I don't think... Like, this was L- not listen, graceful at I all. I thought you said you had a bad weekend. I did. <laughs> this sounds like the best weekend I could ever imagine. I know. <laughs> I know. The whole left side, I had three bruises, one on, like, my thigh, one on my hip, and one on, like, right below my ribs, just bruised black all the way down. It would have so fucking awesome. hurt. I wish it would have given you COVID. No. I, <laughs> that'd be. Nobody knows how you get it. I might. That might have given it to me. I'm not sure. Probably. Uh, but, um, in, in other news, uh, happy birthday, Betty White. She, uh, she, she doesn't have a birthday. She anymore. did. She didn't make it. So yeah, that was it. That's it's today. So how about you, Jeremy? How was your week? The best I could imagine. Yeah. I didn't do anything and I watched a lot of shit on TV. <laughs> That's uh pretty well as good a weekend as I can really imagine. Sure. Um, sure. Ha- got a little bad news. Uh, you know, I'd gotten my wife this, uh, vacation for, for her birthday. Mm hmm. And uh, I thought you were going to say pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, shit, I missed two weeks and fucking she's prigos. Yeah. Dude, she's had a hysterectomy. So <laughs> let you know, my sperms are strong. I'm, I'm real strong. Yeah. They're like, where is it? Yeah. Where's the egg? Yeah. I got her pregnant in her uterus that's not in her anymore. <laughs> There's a baby growing in there. It's the baby's up. growing in her bicep. Right. Oh. But no, I think we're going to put that on hold for a year because we're worried about buying plane tickets and yeah. not being able to get a refund if they get canceled they're just canceling flights left and right right uh mostly because of poor craftsmanship and aircraft right. it has nothing to do with covid <laughs> it's <laughs> really a lot of shit just falling out of the sky right um mainly the ones that you work on yeah mm-hmm. yeah I, I make sure of it <laughs> it's like you're doing it on purpose oh 
not like it. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I hate the aircraft industry. <laughs> Fuck those fuckers who fly. Taking them down from the inside. You're in defiance of God, motherfuckers. <laughs> Man was not meant to fly. Right. Brothers, yes. Supposed to go the, go the old-fashioned way <laughs> right. with a bicycle and some wings. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You jump off a rock <laughs> like everybody else, motherfucker. <laughs> and just flap. Mm-hmm. Put an alien in the basket on the front of that bike and give it a shot. Now you're going too far, Scotty. I'm sorry. I tried. God yeah, damn that's it. fiction. Okay. Anything else you did at all? Yeah. Uh, can can I get some reviews? Yes. Of at, oh, please. I love Jeremy reviews. I watched The Matrix. Okay. Um, then put a gun in my mouth. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to dodge the bullet that came out of it. It went into super slow motion. It was the biggest turd of a movie and was so unnecessary to be made that I I cannot figure it out. It was such a piece of shit. Damn it. Um, it really is bad. Then I watched Cobra Kai. Okay. Yeah. yeah all that in one day. Me too. Um. What the hell was it that you made a reference to that was something out of Cobra Kai right at the beginning of the show? Play back everything that happened. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See if it could jar my memory. I said sweep the leg, I think, somewhere in the Maybe. I, oh, no, that's a little on the nose. Anyways, um, it is so awful, and I cannot quit watching it. <laughs> I love it. it. I, I had to watch it all the way to the end. It is so poorly written. It is such a stupid plot. Yeah. How important is karate in the fucking valley? Honestly. <laughs> oh, and huge. Dude, it's huge, Jesus. man. They still yeah. ha- haven't you like been Did up they get at Trisha Yearwood or God, man. I, I won't know. go to I that's why I don't go to Reseda. I don't know karate. Yeah. Haven't you been up at like two o'clock in the morning, stumble over ESPN and it's these like twelve to fourteen year old kids swinging a staff like Whoa, Michelangelo. We watch different shows. <laughs> okay, fine. They're, they're like swinging swords and shit and flying all over the place and screaming, Gah! like every five seconds. Sounds like a kid's I, strip club. <laughs> I love the fact that they get their black belts after like three lessons. Right. <laughs> and they're just amazing at it. The only and belt I got I, was from my dad. The only thing yeah. that's missing from this is Jaden Smith. Yeah. The, that's the real karate kid, right. you know? Absolutely. The one who specifically said this is not karate. Mm-hmm. You know, when they were teaching it to him? Yeah, it's Kung Fu. Yeah. Did right. you see they're doing a, a drama of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? What? Called Bel-Air, and it's about Will Smith before he went to Beverly Hills and, like, when he first got there. And huh. What? Yeah, they're doing, it's going to air on Peacock, I think, starting next month. He uh, didn't go to Beverly Hills. He went to Bel-Air. Bel-Air. It's yeah. right there in the title. Well, mm-hmm. the, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, no, no idea. No, I thought no, really. it was a whole <laughs> to Bel-Air. It's Fine, all. fucking whatever. Uh yeah, they're doing. They're making that. So why? I don't why know. Why ruin such a good thing? Will Smith's producing it. He produced yeah. Cobra Kai. Yeah, Will did Smith he? did. Yeah, he bought the rights to that franchise so he could make that shit movie for his kid, <laughs> and so now he's the executive producer of Cobra Kai. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, let's see. What else did I watch? Review more uh, shit. I'm going to okay. Letter Kenny. Yeah. Watch that. Okay. All right. Watch that season. Good. <sighs> Better than the last one. Better than the last season. Okay. Getting a little old. The fucking They can white, wrap it up anytime. The white trash off was fucking fantastic. Yeah, kind of. But, yeah, okay. I'm um, I'm doing my thing. I, I'm waiting for them to get finished with I shit. I thought I was doing my fucking thing, but you go ahead and talk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. My bad. I'll shut up. No, go ahead. No, we're, we're all fucking interested, Scotty. <laughs> all I was going to say, I'm waiting for them all to get done so I can just binge them all. Because I, I hate having to wait for another season. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, especially when a season is six episodes. Right. Now. It's fucking stupid. That's dumb. Um, and then, okay, you want the fucking best, most surprising review? Please. That I thought. It, it is by far the best show that I've watched all year. Oh, wow. In all of 2022. Good. That's 15, 18 days. And it's the best show I've watched in a fucking long time. Might be the same show I'm thinking of. Uh Uh-oh. Peacemaker. Uh Oh, Oh, no. I have not watched that yet. Oh, my God. It is fucking amazing. What's it it on? HBO HBO Max. Max. Okay. All right. It's John Cena. Oh, what? Um, He's he's reprising his role of the guy he played in Suicide Squad. Okay. Of Peacemaker. Okay. 
He is dedicated to bringing peace no matter how many men, women, and children he has to kill. (laughs) (laughs) And the show is absolutely fucking hilarious, and he is great in it. Really? He really is. I I normally don't care for him, but he is so fucking good in this, and it is so goddamn funny. They got three episodes out right now. Fourth one comes out on Thursday, I think. Can you see him? Can you see? Cena? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. You didn't. He doesn't do, do this shit. He doesn't do that shit at no, all? Huh. No. Damn. I was really hoping. The one I got into that I watched uh, <clears throat> during quarantine for me, uh, uh-huh. Ted Lasso. I I don't have Apple TV. I so don't either. I, I've heard that it is so good. It's fucking fantastic. Hmm. Okay. Absolutely. And the funny thing is, is whenever he gets brought over to coach soccer, uh-huh. he, he was the coach of Wichita State football. Boom! And took him to the national title and won. Yep. And then fucking went to, yeah. Yeah. It's so fantastic. it's totally fiction. It's yeah. fucking. A, it's such a good show <laughs> for man. what it's worth. We haven't had a football team since what? 1987, 86, 86. Okay. Uh, and uh, when we did, they never won a national championship for sure. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure soccer doesn't exist. So <laughs> yeah. everything about this is just made up. Exactly. It's a fantastic show. No, I cannot recommend Peacemaker highly enough. Good deal. All right, I'll check All it right. out. All right. Well, that was our week week recap. Now we got to get on to the actual sports that happened over the last weekend. But before we do that, we give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. They're still sponsoring us? They, I can't believe this what shit. What the fuck is wrong with these guys? New contract and everything. They, they re-upped us. They re-upped oh, us. Oh, shit. I, I don't know year. what's wrong with them. I can tell you what's right with them. They're ball trim. That's exactly right. Lawnmower 4.0, baby. Must be selling a lot of dong de lousers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, lawnmower 4.0 they got bunches of other products that you should uh, take a peek at uh, we've talked about the crop cleanser over the last couple episodes that's uh that's what i'm going after now they also have body wash just body wash as well uh they got some uh shampoo what's conditioner the difference stuff. crop cleanser ah, it's probably the same thing in the bottle maybe it just smells different i don't know Okay. I don't care. But, I um, thought they were the same thing. Uh, maybe they are. Um, but no, in all seriousness, they do have excellent products. They've got the Lawnmower 4.0, the Weed Whacker, which is my favorite thing. That gets my nose hairs. Uh, they're getting kind of crazy in the winter, man. I don't like nose hairs at all. I didn't know your nose got a winter coat. It got <laughs> <laughs> man, it's kind of it kind of woolly in there. Mine just go nuts whenever. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's what happens when you get old. Oh, I yeah. used to take pliers up in there and just yank, <laughs> yank, them, yank out. them out and that was painful yeah this is painless yeah it is actually painless feels great afterwards have you ever like uh when you use this thing take a big deep breath in afterwards and just just it's amazing no i only ever exhale <laughs> from the time that i use them for the rest of my days <laughs> <laughs> i got big lungs guys okay i do fair. i got a lot of capacity that's awesome uh but they also have uh let's see what they got the tool shed they've got the um the shears which it looks shears, like you're yeah. due for the shears here pretty got quick. The, yeah i am uh-huh. i got the rake yeah yeah that the, is that the brush no that's the the razor oh yeah that's right i forgot about that I, I, you know what? Like I would, a ball comb, like a ball hair comb. Yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking that like now this has become part of the culture. I'm glad that not only are women starting to, uh, you know, groom better slash not have anything there. They've been doing that for a long time. So. I know. Uh, but now it's becoming a man's thing. It's actually uh, more preferred. How many not generations do you guys give this before humans just stop growing hair down there altogether? Uh, 76. Yeah. 76 uh, generations? Yeah. yeah. Right. The old trombones? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. But check yeah, them there's out. There's going to be a quarter to mark the bicentennial of it or whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be a fucking shaven a, ball sack. A shorn scrotum. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a hairy one and then a clean one <laughs> right next to each Heads other. Heads or tails. Which one do you want? <laughs> with, with an olive branch around it. <laughs> yeah. And a dove. And then it says E pluribus unum right yes. on the head of the... <laughs> Well, there you go. (laughs) (laughs) Well, check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and uh, get free shipping with that. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets uh, Manscaped know that we uh, we really do love them, actually. The the cool thing, too, about the shipping is they they actually take really good care of it. Mm -hmm. So whenever they package that so it doesn't rumble around and stuff, Mm -hmm. they actually shove pubes in it. That's Yeah, that's uh, they got plenty. Uh Because that's actually what you're supposed to do. A lot of people don't know this. Uh, (laughs) When you get done, you're supposed to send in your used pu- pubes that's and, right uh, yeah. send them in that, they recycle them they yeah. go yeah they go to kids that have cancer that can't grow pubes <laughs> that's right <laughs> they have children merkins cocks of love <laughs> And and I make sure that mine are always safe when I send them in. I 
put them in a lot of packing peanuts. <laughs> good, good for you. Hey, do you guys? Uh, I, I read this over the week. You guys hear about Drake, the rapper? No. Holy shit, is this fucking insane Harry and balls? fantastic. Yeah, does he have hairy balls? I don't know about that, but uh, he was making out with, like, some Instagram model. Okay. And I guess he was, like, fucking sucking her tits, and it was getting real, like, intense. Oh, okay. And adamantly made sure he had consent. Mm-hmm. They fucked. He came in the condom, went in the bathroom to get cleaned up, came out of the bathroom. She goes into the bathroom. And then all of a sudden, he hears her screaming bloody murder. Like, just what? in fucking pain. What he had done was when he took the condom off, he took hot sauce ah. and dumped it in the condom. I guess he'd read somewhere that hot sauce will kill He sperm. pulled the old Tom Likas. <laughs> oh, my God. And then threw the condom in the trash. And when she went in, she fished the condom out of the oh, trash. Trying no. to get herself and pregnant. And tried to get herself pregnant and dumped it and dumped hot sauce oh. and jizz. You know, the spermicidal no. lubricant should <laughs> take care of most of that. Oh, it's spermicidal, like insecticidal, but for sperm. She's suing him. Fuck her. Are you, yeah, she's fucking Kiss suing him. my ass. Yeah. Oh, yep. bitches are crazy. I Here's the thing. One man's trash is yeah. another woman's treasure. <laughs> Be, because while that is absolutely despicable, I hate Drake so much, I hope she wins. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope they're forced to make a baby. <laughs> oh, that's that, what I hope. That's going to be the new Manscaped product. The Drake. The Drake, yeah. It's just a uh, fucking Tabasco-flavored <laughs> Tabasco. condom. <laughs> well, yeah. Thanks, Manscaped. Uh, moving on. Uh, Ooh, we got all kinds of good ideas for these we folks. Do, we do. Yeah. Quarters and the, yeah. <laughs> the Drake. <laughs> bicentennial uh -huh. commemorative stuff uh but we got a lot of sports to get to uh did me saying the rake remind you of that yeah <laughs> yeah of yeah. course it did okay uh we had uh <laughs> we had something i was going to talk about uh last week but because derek was not here i kind of left it off because i specifically wanted um your coaching opinion you know you coached me through a lot of things so i'm well, still alive so i'm not that good of a coach <laughs> i know right uh, but there was this is something that happened uh, two weeks ago now, but there was a high school coach in Connecticut who had to uh, publicly apologize, and he ended up getting suspended because his uh, his basketball team um, ended up winning a basketball game ninety two to four. And he said it's not – or the, the school ended up saying um, they suspended him not because it's just it was the 88-point margin. It's how it impacts our student-athletes. Mm. What do you guys think about uh, this, quote-unquote, running up the score kind of thing? You do it. 92-4. Yes. to four. I don't, Well, they could have fucking came back. Sure. You Fourth always quarter, you always keep your fucking foot on the gas. How many times do you see that in the NFL where they start fucking playing prevent when they're up? 22 points in the fourth quarter and then lose. Jeremy's favorite head coach does that mm -hmm. shit all the time. You don't fucking do he that. He starts it after the first quarter. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. You put the fucking special needs kid in, let him play a little bit, let the bench play, One let play. everybody play, but fuck, what are you supposed to do? Run the fucking <laughs> shot clock out every time? <laughs> I guess. They don't fuck have a off. shot clock in high in school high girls. School. Just uh. what? Hold it? Yeah. Wait, it was high school girls? It was high school girls. They scored nine. That's a goddamn <laughs> record. <laughs> I know, right? That is a fucking 24 to 20 game all day long. Yeah, that's, and that's a blowout. Yeah, yeah, that's future WNBA players right there. Fuck yeah, you fucking let them run. The, they should get a goddamn trophy. I know. I know. That's Ooh. impressive. Who are these girls that only scored four points? <laughs> Why the second best team in the state? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, it's like you're you're angry with this coach. Sorry for making them winners. Yeah. I, I mean, what the fuck else do you want them to do? They played basketball because it was a basketball game. Right. Fuck this shit. If you don't want them to run up the score on you, stop them. Yeah. yeah. Play yeah. better. Now, I did hear about one in uh, in football, high school football earlier this year. Okay. It was, oh, God damn it. It was 80-something to nothing after halftime. They scored less than these women, these girl high yeah. school girls. And they did. get seven no, points that was, at, that was at halftime. Oh, okay. <laughs> when it was 154 to nothing, they went for two. <laughs> <laughs> love it get fucked yeah I, I mean at that point but but it's here's practice. the thing is these yeah. you know i'm guessing a lot of these girls on this team that scored 92 points are probably college bound oh for sure and a lot of their recruitment depends on their stats and shit like that you can't ask them to not fucking play basketball sure 
Well, I mean, you can, and they shouldn't. That's true. They <laughs> should be making sandwiches and, <laughs> and clean washing it. clothes. That's yeah. right. Uh, but, you know. Wait. What if the star player on the team was like the coach's son in a wig? <laughs> like, they pulled like, ladybugs. Yeah, ladybugs. Yeah, they did ladybug style on it. <laughs> I can't believe you guys remember that reference, too. That's some shit. I got to piss so bad I can taste it. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. The coach of that team gets no respect. That's right. Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. His bathtub on. toy was a toaster. No respect. That's just... <laughs> Well, we, uh, moving on, we've got to get to some NFL stuff. Uh, the We got a lot of requests, actually, about this particular next topic. There's a lot of listeners of the show that didn't get to uh, get your actual reaction from something that you've been wanting for a long fucking time, and that is... Kate Upton. She's, is she here? She, Where is she? Smoking hot. Where is she? Yeah. Whew. Kate! Kate! All right, Kate. <laughs> what, what if that fucking door open? <laughs> Kate! I, is she upstairs making me a sandwich? Yeah, she is. I Am I going to get a ham sandwich before I fuck the shit out of her? Is that what's... I would have given 100% of our Manscaped money 100. to have Kate Upton walk out that fucking door. <laughs> uh, we need anymore. a real cameo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, a lot of people have been requesting your reaction to the firing of Chicago Bears general manager Ryan Pace and head coach Matt Nagy. Boy, I went from fucking six to midnight right back to six. <laughs> oh, no, did you? Oh, God. Oh, man. Why? Why did you go? Why did you get hard and then flaccid immediately? Uh, super hard. Uh, I was he's overweight I was, and has heart problems. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean I'm overweight? <laughs> my, I, doctor, I my doctor says I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. Sure he does. <laughs> does your doctor also coach a girls basketball team <laughs> that scored four points? <laughs> Tell them you're going. You're doing a great job. <laughs> you're doing a great job, girls. You guys uh, are just special. Sure. Um, <sighs> no, they uh, had when they fired Matt Nagy. I was I was on my way up, and then about ten minutes later, it comes out they fired Pace. I'm like, fuck yeah! And then I watched George McCaskey's press conference. Okay. And I wanted to hang myself. That oh, my. was the worst fucking thing ever. Right now, they are currently in tandem interviewing a GM and a coach. They're going to pick the coach before they hire the GM again, just like they did last time. Mm -hmm. They're going to stick a coach with a GM. The coach is going to fail. The GM is going to say, that wasn't my guy. Get his guy. Then they're both going to suck. Then they're both going to get fired, and we're just going to keep doing this all over again. Ted Phillips was actually is going to have a say in this. Uh, They are also – he also called Olin Krutz a liar – Hmm. because uh, they actually offered Olin Krutz a job helping coach the offensive line. Okay, Olin Krutz was a Pro Bowl uh, center for the Bears for many years, very well respected, uh, not by players and coaches alike. Uh, they offered him 15 bucks an hour. Holy shit. And uh, George McCaskey basically essentially came out and said that Olin Krutz was a liar. Wow. And uh, you'd have to, he can't wait to hear Olin say that again in his Hall of Fame speech. Wow. What if he was like, we offered him 1250 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> At least say that. Yeah. Don't call the guy a liar. Wow. So it's a fucking shit show. They have no idea what they're doing. <clears throat> he repeatedly calls himself a fan. He says, I'm not a, I'm not a football guy. I'm a fan. But he is going to be the one that makes the final say on who's getting hired as head coach. Yeah. He he's got to be Polish. He's going to be in the room when they figure out who the general manager is going to be. Mm-hmm. He dodged questions better than any politician I've ever seen in my fucking life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't it, get political. Yep. Oh, I know, yeah, but yeah. they dodge, and he dodged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He was a fucking Peter LaFleur up there. Wow, was, that's impressive. It was awful. Okay. So I think we're going to have the same bullshit show that we've had. What are and the options? Like, don't you have, like, you got Dungy that was interviewing, I think? There no, for, it no? is Bill Polian is going to be in Napoleon? the Napoleon? Bill Polian. Oh, he's, okay. like, 76. No, oh, okay. So, you know, he's into the new changes in the league. Right. He likes that. He yeah. probably still has a goddamn corded phone in his house. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. he, him, uh, Soup Campbell, because everybody with the last name Campbell <laughs> has a name fucking Soup. Who the fuck is Soup Campbell? Uh, he it's played a square for... Square meal in a round hole, you know? <laughs> He played. Uh, he played for the Lions for a little bit, Ugh. and uh, they have. So you know he's good. Yeah, he's got to be good. Some broad that is that's going to be in it that is uh, head of diversity. 
And uh, so far, what I'm reading is the some one of the front runners is Brian Flores. And that's the one I was going to ask you about. Awful. Oh, you don't want it? Fuck no, I don't want that guy. Oh, come on. Three years and didn't do shit with the Dolphins. He won eight straight. I don't give a fuck. You know. He's he and he and he went nine and eight. But no, uh, no, come on, man. No, I don't. I do not want him. And the other one that I've read at his front row or in the towards the front, Jim Caldwell. I don't even know that former Lions coach. Oh yeah, he's great. No, let, let <clears throat> me ask you this, Derek. Who could they hire that's available that available would want? Available. Jim Harbaugh. I knew you were going to say that. He's not available. Yeah. Jim Harbaugh is my number one choice. You bring back Vic Fangio for defensive coordinator, and then let Jim Harbaugh pick the GM. I don't give a fuck. But that's not going to happen. My next pick. I I think he'll just fight (laughs) all the different potential candidates, and whichever one stays up the longest, right? That's that's who he picks. My next pick would probably be, and it's a risky pick, but I would say is Brian DeBull, which is the Bills' offensive coordinator. Okay. Um, the other thing I read about Matt about Nagy, the enemy? which I don't know yeah. if you've heard about this or not, uh, he's an asshole. Nagy? Yes. Yeah. You never put that. He never. He always looks like a kind of a nice guy, has his players back and all that. And the, but The Athletic uh, wrote an article. Uh, they had some sources that were saying, like, uh, at the year that we had the double doink, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The next year, we sucked. Uh-huh. And we didn't make the playoffs. And they were going to have uh, one. Matt Nagy was having one-on-one meetings with every player. What they need to work on, what he, th- what we think we need to work on together as a whole. Uh, Mitch Trubisky wrote down everything that he thought that they needed, that he needed to work on, some things that could change up in the offense. And Matt Nagy no showed him on that meeting. Oh no shit! He fucking ghosted him. Wow. And I guess would fucking call him out. He called him uncoachable multiple times in practice. Oh wow. And just a lot of Nick Foles was kind of he. As soon as Mitch threw that pick, and they and I they and I was happy when they put Foles in. I yeah. absolutely was, and I think Mitch is not a good quarterback, but Matt Nagy's not a good coach. So it's a combination of things. But Matt Nagy's a prick. Yeah. Well, I wonder yeah. how he is at hosting podcasts. Yeah, he might be pretty good. Well, I don't know. Take my spot. You'll have to sit next to him forever. So yes, that's my Scotty, that, that's where we're getting at. I know that. that's my reaction to that whole deal. Okay. Well. Uh, we're happy to have you back. Now we get to move on to the, uh, what'd you call it? The super wild card, super duper wild card, super wild, wild card week, Scotty. Oh, okay, fine. That's fair. Boy, the unnecessarily it, super wild card week. Uh, it is super wild card week. Uh, there's brand new news that happened today, not necessarily relating to the games over the last week, but, um, Cleveland Browns defensive tackle Malik McDowell was arrested on charges of exposing himself in public that's today. Probably Malik. Oh, did I say what did I say? Malik. Did I say Malik? I meant Malik. Fucking honky <laughs> so, fuck. <laughs> I am a honky. Fucking pecker wood. <laughs> uh, Fucking white bread, chicken shit, cornbread motherfucker. Thanks, bro. Uh, he was resisting arrest with violence and assaulted a police officer. And this was my favorite part of the article that I read. Um, it was in Florida, and it was uh, actually at a learning center for children, not a school. Yeah, that means never give up. That is what you're teaching those kids. Yeah, yeah. never give up. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I... No uh, surrender. I don't know, but um, I'm, are the Browns kind of merging with the Raiders as far as quality what? of players? They're going to be the Braiders. <laughs> They're going to be the Braiders? Was he arrested for being too sexy? Yeah, he was naked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was naked. If you want to see anybody naked, you want to see an offensive lineman Yeah, naked. Malik McDowell naked, but... Uh, so that was brand new information. It's Malik. Is it, is it Malik? Okay. I'll go with Malik now. Malik. May- it, it, was actually, it was actually Malcolm McDowell. Actually, <laughs> Malcolm McDowell. And, uh, yeah, the fact that, that he played for the Browns last year explains a lot of the record. Yeah. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's probably not going to be in the NFL uh, for a while. It if, depends. If he's good, then he'll be back. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Look how many shots Antonio Brown got. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I mean, fuck. If uh, fucking yeah, he didn't Her- threaten any of these kids. If you know. Aaron Hernandez escaped <laughs> instead of hung himself, he'd be on a team right mm-hmm. now. <laughs> Probably back on the Patriots. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was the uh, the fun news, I guess. Uh, but now let's get to the actual football. Uh, for what it's worth, uh, somebody has actually sent the very first text message about the Bengals yeah. winning a playoff game over this last weekend. Yeah, first text message was sent in 92. The last time the Bengals won a playoff game was 91. 91. That's exactly right. So I I'm, can't wait to recycle that about the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but I think uh, they're one of the. I think it's the Cleveland Indians, the Cincinnati Reds, and I want to say the Detroit. No, Detroit. Yeah, Detroit's up there. 
because uh, I think it was in the uh, uh, 2000s. Yeah, I can't 91 remember. was the last Indian. one that they won. The, the Indians have the, won the playoff games. The Lions? No, that was the Oh, they were Worlds. in the playoffs. The last yeah. time they won a playoff game was 91. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, fun stuff for that. I thought the Bengals looked fucking great. Well, let me, let me tell you this. If there was ever a fucking reason to not have a seventh team in the fucking playoffs, <laughs> this shows you, <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was fucking awful. It was. It was pretty bad. Um, but in that game... The, the Bengals-Raiders game, the referee crew likely to be punished by the NFL and will not be allowed to work again this postseason because of a lot of calls, a lot of flags, a lot of reviews. And uh, I guess the they uh, burrow through a touchdown pass that was the whistle happened before it was caught and they counted it anyway. Yeah. It was a fucking mess. Well, he was, at, he was in bounds. There was no reason was. to throw the whistle. No, there wasn't. So it's just... It's about time they, they fucking... threw the whistle? Yeah, they threw it. Yeah, they, wow. They threw that son of a bitch. That's a rap... Yeah. Hit, just the, a hit the safety. misuse yeah. of a whistle. Hit the safety right in the eye. Oh, that, that's, that's how I caught that's that That's how touchdown. I caught the touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so fuck those, ra- those uh, referees, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, if there's ever a time, it's about fucking time that they start coming down on some of these officials. I agree. Because this season has been fucking atrocious. Yeah, the whole thing so, is. Period. Yeah, so it's about time they start coming down on the officials. With that said, I don't think that makes a difference in the game. I don't even. At all. Oh, no. Uh, I've been saying it all season that I'm high on Cincinnati. I'm still high on Cincinnati. I'm still high on Cincinnati yeah. as well. Uh, so, but it was, uh, it's, it's nice to see the, the Bengals, like, you you can see that they've got a lot to work around. Oh yeah, Jamar so, Chase is fucking unbelievable. Jamar Chase is fucking unbelievable. Burrow is unbelievable, and then you got T Higgins on the outside as well, who's who's basically just a young. I don't. He's not a Megatron. He reminds no. me a lot of a CD Lamb esque kind of a player. No, I think he's just as athletic. It's just that so is Jamar Chase as far as athleticism goes, and so he's going to get a majority of the targets. But as, as far as potential, you've got two excellent guys on on that. Absolutely, team. you got a great one too. Yeah, and then you got Tyler Boyd. Right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Moving on to the uh, Buffalo Bills, uh, absolutely beating the fucking piss. Out of uh, who they even fucking play, they wouldn't even. Hey, New England, yeah, Bills Mafia, baby. Oh my I, god, um, they beat the shit out. This of This surprised the shit out of me. Not I me. beat I them by I more than New thirty in this game. I did too in one bracket. I did, but I it, they're such a roller coaster team. They're they're hot and then they're not. That's it. So I, I mean, oh, are you fucking Jerry Reed? Yeah, I okay. am Jerry Reed. No, I asked if you were fucking him. No. Oh. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, the best part about that Bills game was, I don't know if you guys saw Ryan Fitzpatrick in the fucking stands without his shirt on <laughs> with the Bills Mafia. That beard keeps him warm enough. Man, that guy is awesome. He's like my new favorite quarterback just because, isn't he still technically on the roster for Washington? I don't think so. I would assume I think he got not. cut. I would assume not after he, they said he wasn't going to come back. Well, once the season's over too. I yeah. Mean, but kudos for that guy. I, I think he's just living his best life now. I think he he's at the end of his his career. If not, it's getting pretty damn close. But to be in the crowd, I thought that was pretty fucking cool. And uh, they're already they were throwing dildos on the on the field again. Did you see that? Oh, nice. Yeah, they're bringing the dildos back. How you sneak that into a fucking game? By the way, uh, fuck Patrick yeah. Holmes sneaks his brother in every goddamn time. <laughs> he's know. always on the field. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. Same way it sneaks. I mean, you put it where it goes. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. He keys through that Right in the old prison wallet. There yeah. you go. Well, I mean, women go to football games too, guys. I don't know if you knew that or not. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. They have butts too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. They can sneak in too. <laughs> <laughs> and they got one guy that's a sword swallower, and right, it's just sure. unfair. Exactly. Uh, the... Um, uh, this was uh, Sunday night's game. Matthew Stafford and uh, Odell Beckham Jr. I did not realize this, but Matthew Stafford, I knew this one. He uh, wins his very first uh, playoff game. Okay. But Odell Beckham Jr., that's his first playoff win. Yeah. I can't believe that. It was right after the Super Bowl against the Patriots uh, for the Giants. Yeah. I can't believe that. He caught his first touchdown as well. My, threw, he didn't throw a touchdown. He, he didn't threw, throw a forty-five he, he yard threw a pass. Big yeah. ass chunk play though, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I, I wasn't as I guess surprised as I, I figured that the Rams were a better team. They were at home, but at the same time, as as 
they got so they shut down Arizona so bad in the first quarter or that, first half. That defense, I mean, fuck, man. Jeez, but it's Miles like they Garrett, Von Miller, and Aaron Donald. But it's like they hadn't shown up until that game all together, like simultaneously, just shutting down a mobile quarterback. Which is, I mean, that's Kyler Murray's. Oh, game. Oh, Murray got mm-hmm. fucked. He up. got fucked up. Yeah, he threw the the shortest pick six in the NFL history. Was it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like half a yard. I saw the throw. It was bad. I can't believe that they were seven and zero at one point. Ten and two. I can't later on in the season. Look at the Ravens. I mean, they were eight and three and finished fucking eight and nine. Yeah. And the other thing is, is they're without DeAndre Hopkins, and that it, you can see that in their record. I think they're they were like eight or no, they were like seven and one or Did something. Did we just like that. compare eight and three to seven and zero? Oh? Yeah, seven, <laughs> seven and seven. Undefeated, yeah. dude. They were winning well, games with fucking Colt McCoy. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty cool to see. Um, but, uh, I think one of the coolest things that happened over the last weekend was, uh, Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey's mom traveled to see both of their, her son's games on the same day. She, um. she was in Tampa Bay watching the Eagles and the Bucks and then flew right after that to Kansas city to watch uh, boy, Travis play. Boy, that was a long flight. Right. <laughs> after watching her kid get the shit kicked out of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Did uh, I believe Travis Kelsey had more touchdown passes, didn't he? Uh, or catches or, or passes or than Jalen Hurts? Y- yeah, probably. no, he he threw a touchdown. I pass. didn't see that. Oh, I didn't see yeah, he threw a touchdown. Pass. Well, good for him. That's awesome. Uh, a, a pretty good one too. Good. Uh, and then last one before real shit or horse shit. The Dallas Cowboys may be the most talented choke artists of all time. They got, in my opinion, it, that game was not as close as the score represented. I don't know if I'd call them choke artists because it's not like they choked the lead away. They um, were behind the whole game. That is the most talented team I have ever seen consistently lose every fucking year. You throw that on McCarthy. That was fucking horrible. What are you thinking? Uh huh. I, I I agree with you. Um, I've heard it's a possibility. I don't know if it'll happen. But the possibility could be that they fire Mike McCarthy and then give Kellen Moore the head coaching job. Well, if you look ahead a little bit, real shit or horse shit, that is the number one question to move on to. Oh, I did not know that. Real shit or horse shit, the Dallas Cowboys will fire Mike McCarthy before the beginning of next season. Mm. We're going to move right on into that. That was a segue like a motherfucker. Well, let's see. If it's going to happen, I think it would have happened today. I don't think Jerry Jones is quick to pull the hook. I'm going to say horse shit. I think they keep him around. I I agree with you. I Look. think this is horse shit. Uh, I, I also agree with what you said about the timeline. I think I think whenever it's coming with, with, with um, Jerry Jones, I think you know pretty damn quick. Um, it would have been by today. I, I agree. But I think it hurts Dallas. I think they should. They should, but look I, how long Garrett hung around. Exactly. That's kind of where I'm going. I, who in the fuck calls a a quarterback draw with less than 20 seconds to go in a game? Yeah, and then he gives it to the fucking lineman to spot. Give the fucking ref the yeah, ball. Give Find the ref. And then they, I, then they block the ref. They did best blocking right there. I understand, I guess, the logic behind running the play that they did. But yeah, you're you've been in this fucking league long enough. You know who to give the fucking ball to, and it ain't your goddamn center. He doesn't spot the fucking ball. Yeah, you've got to give that to the official, and that's totally on Dak. Yeah, I I don't know that it was necessarily the best decision for a play, but I understand wanting to get it close so you have a realistic shot sure. as opposed to a hail mary. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad they lost. I am too. It was great. Uh, but apparently, uh, you said something about fans throwing trash on on the field, Derek. Yeah, they were throwing trash. Originally, they thought they were throwing it at the <clears throat> players. Well, and, they should. And they were like, and Dak was like, "Man, that's that's unacceptable." And uh, then they told Dak that they were actually throwing it at the refs. And then Dak goes, "Well, credit to them." <laughs> and I guess he's under a lot of shit for that. But fourteen fucking penalties. I can understand your frustration. <laughs> I, I I can. I, I get that. I, I don't want to stand up for the refs because they are doing a shitty job. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they're being told by the league officials, they're, they're being forced to enforce shit that I don't know how you necessarily enforce. It's all judgment calls and shit like that. They're being told to basically Use your not let, let players fucking play. Yeah. yeah. 
We're trying to keep it as least violent as possible in a very violent fucking game. Which the, you can't do. Yeah. The, the uh, thing I was listening to some sports radio, and I thought this was a very good take. He said that uh, referee NFL referees should not be a part-time job anymore. He thinks that you shouldn't be able to go do whatever you're going to do in the off season and not fucking work on anything. Mm-hmm. And then a regular season comes around and it's like, all right, or if preseason starts and you're like, all right, now let's start reffing again. You should be fucking half. You should be studying film and studying plays and seeing, studying different calls and what was and what wasn't. I agree. Uh, it took them how long to figure out what the fuck a catch is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, you know what I mean. I don't know if they still haven't fucking figured yeah, it out. Yeah, I mean, there's they don't know what fucking taunting is. They don't. Yeah. It's they've got that that doesn't need to be a part time job anymore. I think that is something that you commit. You're that's your fucking. You make mm-hmm. enough money. Oh yeah, you can commit your fucking career to that. The the impact that they have on the games should warrant a full time salary. Absolutely, I, I agree. And they should be doing it full time. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. All right. Next one for Real Shit or Horseshit. This is now the playoff edition of Real Shit or Horseshit. So this is going to be our predictions for uh, these this weekend's games. Uh, first one, Real Shit or Horseshit. Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans will be too much to overcome for Burrow and the Bengals. I'm going to say Horseshit. Okay. It's Henry's first game back. Yep. So I'm sure he won't be as explosive. Okay. Uh, the Bengals' defense isn't bad. Yeah. The offensive line is what's bad for the Bengals. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a fantastic game. And uh, I think it's going to be close one way or the other. But I have way more confidence in Joe Burrow than I do in Ryan Tannehill. Uh, I agree. Uh, I think this is also uh, horseshit. Again, I I still think that Derrick Henry is going to be a force to be reckoned with. But the... Cincinnati Bengals offense is too fucking dangerous. They they can score on you and they can score on you often and you can they can score on you quick. So I I don't think that while the Tennessee uh, Titans defense is very good, um, I still think that they are going to score more points uh, against the Tennessee Titans and I think they end up winning this game. How about you, Jeremy? I think it's real shit. Okay, I I really do. Um, the difference between the Raiders secondary and Tennessee secondary is fucking staggering. Mm-hmm. So to look at what they did against Oak or against Las Vegas and try and carry that over, it's just not going to work. Sure. And when you've got Henry, you can keep the ball out of their fucking hands. True. That is true. Uh, but again, I'm still just not, I'm not confident in uh, <coughs> Tannehill though. He doesn't turn the ball over very often though. One quick thing I will say, uh, which we didn't touch on, mm-hmm. uh, Buda Baker is okay. Yeah, Buda Baker is okay. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know what's wrong with Buda Baker. Buda Baker got knocked the fuck out. He left uh, the stadium in, a, in an ambulance. Was mm-hmm. it because of his stupid fucking name? Yeah. Okay. No, he's very peaceful. <laughs> do you not? Do you have something <laughs> against? Still... Do you have something against pastries and bread? Yeah, I'm, I'm low carbonate. Remember? Oh, what God about damn. Buda? Yeah, he's peaceful. That's what yeah, I just said. Yeah, fuck that you fat fuck. Pastries. I'll kick his yeah, ass. Yeah, I said he's peaceful. Do you have something against Bakers? Oh, oh okay, my bad. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit, San Francisco 49ers. Are you sure Matt Nagy can't come in? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> or even Eric Von Riker. Josh. Oh, watch it. <laughs> real shit or horse shit, the San Francisco 49ers has the, uh, have the offensive power to beat the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau. Real shit. Packers suck. Moving on. <laughs> That's it? That's all I got to go? <laughs> fuck yeah. Fuck the Packers. I, uh, God, I really want to say this is real shit. This is horse shit. And it's not necessarily of all of the weapons. It's not Debo Samuel. It's not George Kittle. It's not Elijah Mitchell. It's, it's Garoppolo. And I just he don't may have, not play. And I, and you know what? I don't know if that's a bad thing. If he doesn't, I, I, I really don't know. Is it cause he's too handsome? Yes. But he's, he's going to be banging porn stars. Sure. <laughs> he ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> I got puss to crush. We weren't supposed to win <laughs> yeah. last week. And and it, be elbow deep and puff. <laughs> either option, regardless of it's if it's Garoppolo or if it's uh, Lance, I I don't care. Unfortunately, I, it's the Packers. Ugh. Nope. Jeremy, San he, Fran has their fucking number. It's, I hope you're I, right. Yeah, I just something tells me this is fucking Green Bay's year. <sighs> it has been all fucking year. Nope. I mean, I hope not, but I think it probably is. Ugh, that sucks to say. I will hit Aaron Rodgers with my car before this is fucking Green Bay's year. I will drive my fat ass to Milwaukee. Okay. Where he's well, partying he's in Green at some Bay. club. Yeah. Oh, he'll be at some fucking 
unmasked gathering. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll run his ass over. <laughs> He's naturally immune. Right. Uh, next one, <sighs> real shit or horse shit. I would much rather have the Los Angeles Rams than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playing against the Packers for the NFC Championship. So this is assuming the Packers beat the Niners. I would rather have the Rams, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is real shit all the way around. I, got, I called Rams, what, week six, week five? But I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I think that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to beat the Packers. I think Brady's going to have a terrible game against the Rams. I am. T- I don't know. It, it's okay. Here's the deal. It's Tom fucking Brady. I say that all the fucking time. But here's the deal. Can you name the team that has had the most playoff wins in the NFL in the Super Bowl era? If you think about it hard enough, it's not that difficult. Yeah, but I'm, were they the one seed last year? It's the Lions. No. It's the New England Patriots. They have no won. Detroit Lions. No, they have thirty-seven wins in the Super Bowl era. Okay, Tom Brady has thirty-five wins. It's the by St. Himself. Louis Browns. Okay, that that. Yeah, what about fair. them? No, that's not the Chicago I, Cardinals. Okay, moving on. Who had a Who had a buy in the? What, did Tampa have a buy last year in the first round? Uh, no, no. The Washington I don't Sentinels. So. <laughs> no, Jeremy. No, I don't believe they did. I think they were the number two team out of the NFC, if I remember correctly. Because it was, what, 2020 NFC? Maybe. I don't know. But Um, it it doesn't change anything. I just don't – I don't want to play Tom Brady in the playoffs, regardless if if he doesn't have some of his tools. And that fucker just always seems to get all the fucking breaks. True. Well, outside of last year, because I don't know if he had a bye or not last year. So if he did, last year would have been the first year Brady has ever made it to the Super Bowl without a first-round bye. And I I would believe it. I can't remember, to be honest with you, but I I just I don't care. I, I, I've i given up. They barely squeaked into the playoffs last year, didn't they? They were like 9-7. and seven. I want to say that they just they, – I think they were a two or three seed, but I don't think they got the bye. Okay, and that would know. have been the first time he's won with – yeah. Out of first round by. But I can't remember for the life of me who it was. It was I would just as soon get him the fuck out of the way as soon as possible. Yeah. So, I know. I like the I like the Rams all the way around. I'm I'm gonna still say the Bucks. I, I agree with you. I think the Rams match up with the Packers better. I just I think it's gonna be the fucking Buccaneers, and I think he's gonna win. Uh next one, last one actually. Real shit or horse shit. This is the year the Buffalo Bills beat the Kansas City Chiefs to advance to the AFC championship game. Real shit. They beat their ass once this year. Kansas City's had a pretty weak schedule the last fucking eight or nine games, including a shitty Steelers team that shouldn't have been there in the first fucking place. Mm -hmm. I'm saying real shit. I think Buffalo gets over that hump. It's in Kansas City? Yep. They beat their ass in Kansas City already once. And it's not going to matter. This is real shit. The the Buffalo Bills are going to beat the Chiefs this weekend. I think or so negative, too. Yeah, it's just going to happen. I hope not, but I think so. It, it's just I agree with the the biggest thing I agree with what you just said, Derek, is that the schedule over the last several weeks for Kansas City have been below par. They played one good the, team and they beat them. Cincinnati beat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C- Cincinnati won that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Chiefs have not beaten, in my opinion, have not beaten a truly solid team yet. Mm-hmm. They have beat very lackluster teams. Yeah, they beat teams who made it to the postseason, but they've expanded the postseason, and there's at least three teams in the postseason, I think, this year that shouldn't have been there. Mm-hmm. And the, the Eagles, the Steelers, and what's the other one? The Raiders. Raiders. Raiders, yeah, I agree with that. But the other thing is, is we've talked about their defense improving so much, and, and granted, they definitely have, but they also have been playing lackluster teams. offenses as yeah, well. Yeah, they so. can blow out average teams. Right. They can't seem to muster up whenever they play a team that is capable of beating them they will get a big lead a lot of times and then andy reed stops coaching right okay not going to happen here though i think bills are going to go wired wire i'm surprised as many as we uh, actually agreed upon that's uh, that's kind of impressive but uh, that was real shit or horse shit uh so now we get to move on to the fun stuff part of the episode first things first uh this is this segment is getting some following there mr jeremy Good idea. Of course it is. Yes, I only have our good ideas, you prick. Uh Uh-huh, whatever. Uh, We have started this uh, new segment called Bad Advice with Jeremy, Mm -hmm. to where uh, if you are a listener and you would like some advice for any particular situation that you have, do write us at uh, 
Instagram, uh, which is at laughing on the sidelines, uh, send a message on TikTok. You can do that if that's easier for you at laughing on the sidelines, but give us enough details. So that way we know exactly the situation that you're in. And Jeremy can give you, uh, his opinion on his advice or his advice anyways. Uh, but this week, um, bad advice with Jeremy. This is coming from at blade ginger. He wants to know. That's the vampire that can walk in right, the day. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And he's redheaded. Yeah. <laughs> sure do, is. Do you, <laughs> you think he's got a shot against Wesley Snipes? Yeah, he's a day walker. He oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. They're basically on the same level. Okay. All right. What? One quick thing. Okay. The draft, whenever nobody knew who the fuck Moon Knight was, myself included, mm-hmm. is going to get his own, I think, series yeah. or show. A movie, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? Okay. All right, cool. Sorry. I think it's Pedro Pascal playing him. <laughs> no, no, it's the guy that played Poe Dameron. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. in Star Wars. All right, fair. All right, sure. All right, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Anyways, bad advice. Okay, this is uh, at Blade Ginger. He wants to know, Jeremy. Yeah. Me and my fiance are planning a wedding as the groom. Do you have any advice? Oh, I got all kinds of advice. What's this dickhead's name? Uh, uh, Blade Ginger. Yeah, I don't care for that. I'm just going to call him Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Steve. Uh, I got all kinds of advice for you. Um, your wife is going to try and take this over, and you're going to have to remind her that this is your day. Okay, this is about you. She needs to step aside and let you make some fucking decisions here. Now, the other the, the thing you need to do is get emotional about it. Incredibly emotional. <laughs> Find at least a half dozen reasons leading up to the wedding for why you want to call it off. <laughs> make her have to make up to you. Get back on your good side. You get the choice in flowers. You get the choice in invitations. By the way, a thank you text is fine. You don't need to pick out thank you cards. Just send out a mass text that says thanks. (laughs) That's all you need. Um, When it comes to picking out, you know, what you're going to be wearing, because she's fine with a pantsuit. Trust me. (laughs) Wedding dresses are so overrated. There are two pieces of clothing that are absolutely vital and classy that you can really use to spruce this up. You can combine the two. Tuxedos and bib overalls. (laughs) It may take some work, but you're going to spend most of your money on a designer to design your your tuxedo overalls, (laughs) which are just overalls with a cummerbund (laughs) and a bow tie. Denim bow tie? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, on the day of the wedding, even if everything is done like you want, in your mind, nothing is done right. <laughs> you got to throw fits. You have to insist that she not see you. They say that you know, you're not supposed to see the bride. Insist that she doesn't see you during the wedding. <laughs> you're going to have a lot more fun just hanging out with your buddies, drinking. <laughs> and that's the other thing. That is the big thing that you really want to do get as drunk as you possibly can <laughs> and have her dad walk you down the aisle <laughs> that's all the advice i got oh, get a better shit. name jackass <laughs> <laughs> what if that's his real name <laughs> if it's steve ginger uh, no ginger blade what oh. if that's what if he just had dickhead parents <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's a badass name. It's one, it's one Ginger of, Blade. It's one of Zappa's kids. Oh. Dingus, Dweezil, Moon Unit, and Ginger mm. Blade. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> uh, well, thanks, Blade Ginger. At Blade Ginger, we really do appreciate Blade that. Ginger it's, Blade, it's Blade Ginger. All right. First name, Blade. I like Ginger Blade better. Uh, Ginger Blade, yeah. Uh, Blade Ginger, you need to switch that around. You it's, think it's much that's better. What would actually happen to steve if he were to get become half vampire <laughs> yeah. he would be the ginger blade yeah okay the ginger blade man <laughs> my uh, swords <laughs> you've eaten my swords <laughs> oh shit <laughs> All right. Well, if you do, again, have uh, any advice you'd like to ask from Jeremy, please send it to at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or um, TikTok. Yeah, all those places. Uh, but now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Yeah, same thing applies. If you want to suggest some shit, send us to and Instagram, Facebook, 
Make it good, you assholes. Yeah, there's some of them. Are just bullshit. Get, either that, or we're starting to get some duplicates. It's like go back and listen to every single episode we've ever done. The fact Come that on. you're not hanging on our every word just pisses me off. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and also, uh huh. A blender and a food processor are basically the same fucking thing. <laughs> you can't send one and the other in. Okay. Pick one okay. and quit fucking bothering us. <laughs> okay. All right, first one, uh, overrated or underrated, dodgeball. We referred to that already today. Underrated. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing better than fucking pegging kids in the face with a hard <laughs> rubber ball. Yeah. From time to time, I still do that as an adult. Yeah. I'll just drive by the elementary school, <laughs> get out of my car, <laughs> chuck a couple red ones. Yep. Billy Madison, those you motherfuckers. You know who's a big fan of pegging kids in the face? <laughs> Malik McDowell. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that fucking learning center, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll be darned. That's what he was doing. He's playing <laughs> playing <laughs> dodgeball. Yeah. Some naked dodgeball. I'm gonna teach you pussies how to catch. <laughs> God damn it! If it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Get I'll- a firm grip on the ball. <laughs> Uh, I would I would normally say this is underrated, but that was back whenever they used the hard rubber balls. Uh-huh. Now these got these fucking foam pieces of shit that if you deck somebody in the face, you don't even feel it. Dodgeball would be underrated if they went back to actually using the hard rubber ball that actually hurt if you got smacked in the face with that thing. You know what I think they should use? What? Bowling ball. Absolutely. Mm. Fucking Fred Flintstone twinkle toes that shit at somebody. I saw. I'm sorry. Separate the weak from the strong. Uh 16 pounders. Not even going to. This is not related at anything. I saw the funniest shit the other day. I saw somebody. They were two guys in an ice skating rink playing barefoot, kicking a bowling ball to try to score. It was funnier than shit. Barefoot? They were kind of sand. Yeah. Oh. Whew. But anyways, uh, yeah. Um, over, I'm toughing over, you up. Uh, sure will. <laughs> overrated for me. How about you, Jeremy? Um, I'm going to go with it's underrated. Uh, you know, I realize you want the pain in there, but really it's more about the humiliation. <laughs> yeah. And either either one will do. You still hit him in the face with your ball. <laughs> okay. It's always fun to watch that nerdy kid catch the, like, star athlete's fucking ball. Uh-huh. Oh, oh yeah. man. And then he gets pissed. Then he has no idea what the fuck to do with it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then he and kicks he, that kid's ass. He just, <laughs> <laughs> he just limp wrists it. You're trying to <laughs> fucking embarrass me, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, next one. This is a, a fan's question. Uh, this is from at Johnny uh, Wolfva. I'm going to say it's at Johnny Wolf from Virginia, VA. That might be right. I think so. Uh, at Johnny Wolf VA. Uh, Wolf uh, sounds like a hairy vulva. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it sounds. Uh, it's, it's like the vagina of a wolf spider. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, or just fangs. a wolf. It's probably got fangs on it. <laughs> it's, wolf, it's wolf puss. Right. Probably. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he mm. wants to know overrated or underrated charcuterie boards. Did I say that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you couldn't get Malik, but you got charcuterie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure couldn't. Overrated. Really? Yeah. Unless you ask my wife, because I got her one for Christmas last year. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But it, mainly overrated. It's meat and cheese and a piece of wood. That's. Yeah. I know. That's. Uh, that's, that's underrated. It. Well. The meat and cheese are the charcuterie. Yeah. The board itself? Oh, this includes the food. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, the board. People make these. It's a big woodworking thing. They can suck my ass. It's a (laughs) fucking cutting board with a handle on it. That's all that it is. You fucking phony (laughs) bastards. Fuck you, charcuterie boards. Fuck whoever gave you that dumbass name. I I, Yeah. (laughs) You frauds. I'd go with you on that. Uh, you but, guys want to come over and eat some meat and cheese? Well, yeah, my- <laughs> put it on a plate like everybody else, rather than you know carry around this five pound fucking hunk of wood. I I put don't that know maple to use somewhere else. I, I like got a that. charcuterie cardboard. <laughs> I, what, like, I what, like the cheeses. What kind of uh, what kind of wood is the one you got your wife? Uh, f- yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Balsa. Yep. <laughs> Balsa wood. Balsack wood. Right. Uh, next question. Uh. Overrated or underrated foot fetishes? Oh, overrated, gross. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking disgusting. You're making me want to throw up just, <laughs> just 
by being here, honestly. <laughs> uh, it has nothing to do with the foot fetishes. <laughs> just you. I know. Um, this is so overrated. Feet are so fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> People that have a thing with feet. I sleep with shoes on. <laughs> I sleep with socks on. But people that have a thing for feet gross me the fuck out. Like it's always that really awkward moment in a in a movie, like a, a comedy movie where some chick is like sucking on a toe, Ugh. and the whole Ugh. time we're going, "Oh my god, Ugh. no! You people are fucking crazy." The Overrated. Only foot, the only foot fetish I've ever had was Adam Sandler's and Mr. Deeds. <laughs> the, <laughs> the frostbite, the frostbite foot. foot. That's yeah. the only time I've ever been interested in a foot. Oh God! How about the, you, Jeremy? Uh, do we even need to ask? They're so <laughs> fucking overrated. There's that woman that makes the fucking video. She was like born with no arms, so she like cooks stuff with her feet. And, and, <laughs> oh my God! And she's pretty good at it, but I mean, what a worthless fucking thing to have. Just cut your legs off too. <laughs> I, I would rather have lose my arms and legs than have to eat and cook and shit with my feet. <laughs> How do you wipe your ass? That's what I was just getting ready to say. Bidet. Yeah, it has to be. Got to be a bidet. It has to have a bidet. Yeah, but how do you turn it on? Uh, they don't make foot switches. <laughs> they don't? I bet for they bidets. do. That's the only thing they don't make a foot switch for. <laughs> I looked it up just now. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, next one. Oh. Overrated or underrated? Trick shot TikTokers. What the fuck is that? These are people that spend hours trying to make a shot of something fucking phenomenal. Oh, kill yourself. (laughs) That's my answer. So yeah, overrated. You got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Perfect. Have they? They have legitimately made a business about this. That's their business. Is they spend hours of filming and trying to make an amazing. Oh, where they like to bank shit off the wall, like a ping pong ball, and land it in the glass, yeah, and then. Have a second one follow right behind it. Absolutely. Yeah. Michael Jordan and Larry Bird did this in one fucking take back in the 80s. It's not that fucking impressive. Jeremy? Um, I'm going to say this, uh, and this includes you, Scotty. <laughs> if you're not a cute dog, get the fuck off TikTok. <laughs> that is the only thing that it's good for, and I can watch that all fucking day. Yeah. All right. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? Sending your wife pictures of your horn. People do that? <laughs> it's called a dick. I'm going to go overrated. <laughs> My horn sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a kazoo. <laughs> Sitting on a beanbag chair. Uh, I don't think she would appreciate it. <laughs> I don't appreciate it, <laughs> and I don't need anybody else seeing that. <laughs> Do you think that she'd ever send it to one of her friends? On accident. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Now, the centaur picture, on the other hand, fantastic. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, this is uh, so overrated. I don't know why. I don't know why guys it, do this, not even to your wife, like to some rando. Wieners aren't attractive. <laughs> no. They're no. ugly. Unless they're manscaped. If they're manscaped, they look great. Um, well, we know Scotty's fetish. <laughs> That's why he gave the foot fetish two thumbs down. Right. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's kind of got a cock and ball fetish. <laughs> yeah. You know, like a woman. Yeah. <laughs> a cleanly shaven cock. Yeah. Ball, of course. No. That's why Manscaped's sponsoring us. Right. Probably. Yeah. That's right. They, they, they That's s- what they're paying us in is dick pics. <laughs> yeah. That Scotty can print off. I wonder we've never seen any of the money. That's right. He just keeps using it to buy better printers <laughs> and more ink. Need more ink. One of these days, he's going to come out with a big stack of printed off dick pics and just <laughs> <laughs> make it rain. That's what's in that room over there. It's just wallpaper and dick pics. <laughs> No, it's so overrated. He's got favorites. He collects them like baseball cards. Go in there and it's got like some creepy fucking serial killer just wall with with stick pins and pieces of string tied between them, and he's trying to solve a case. It's got fucking rookie cards. Yeah, it's got an autograph. Dude, will you sign this? See, what the fuck no, not with you your know? hands. We we don't know. This is you. We signed this. How the fuck did you get that? <laughs> the fucking card Man's brand good. is the card brand is upper dicker. 
Oh, shit. No, it is overrated. Don't do this. First of all, your spouse or girlfriend will hate it. It doesn't, it's not flattering. It, it's one thing that women are much more attractive than men. Duh. That's why they can send you boob pics. Yeah, or nude way pics. to cover your ass, Scotty. But in all seriousness, that that's it's flattering to have a picture of my wife that's naked. I think it's great. It makes me have a we happy day. Yeah, them, they're pretty Scotty. nice. Shut up. Uh, but yeah, don't do it. It's not, it's not a good idea. Send ball pics. <laughs> You're, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm tired of your sister sending me her dick pics, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, thanks. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, it's overrated, not for the same reasons that you come up with. Um, my wife sees my dick more than she ever wants to, as it is. Um, I do that thing. You've seen the movie Waiting? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just have my junk out waiting for her to turn a corner. <laughs> or she'll be like looking at something on her phone and look up and there I am with my dick out. Then you guys get thrown out of Target. <laughs> she... <laughs> no, they take pictures of it and send it to Scotty. <laughs> but no, it's... um. She has actually declared our living room to be considered out in public. <laughs> so at least she has some sort of a sanctuary like to get away from it. <laughs> kind of, yeah. She needs her one quiet place oh. that she can get away. Her, her uh, what do they call them I don't know. in colleges now? What? Where the triggered kids can go. Their safe, safe, safe space. Safe yeah. space, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Give her the bat wing, huh? No, oh. I just pull it out and... <laughs> Sometimes I'll helicopter it around or whatever. There's just random holes throughout the house and walls. There, there may not be a, a sadder sight in the world than when I go to do that to her and it turns out she's really interested in what's on her phone and it takes longer than what, for to look up. And I have to be like, ahem, ahem, ahem. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's seen enough of my dick. She doesn't need it <laughs> okay. embossed on her phone. Oh, that was overrated or underrated. Thank you for the suggestion, um, uh, Johnny Wolf VA. Uh, now we Wolf get some- vagina. <laughs> yeah. right. Wolf puss. Is this, like, <laughs> is this like the dirtier version of Wolf Mother? Yeah, it is. <sighs> okay. Uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We're going to go right into it. First question. My favorite sex position is called blank style. JFK. JFK? I splatter all over, and then she screams and tries to get out of the car. (laughs) Oh, my God. All right. Uh, Not very creative for me. Uh, Lazy style. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to lay there, not do anything. Let her do all the work she's supposed to anyway. It's called half ass style. There's a half ass rapist that does that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I'll be done. Yeah, half ass killer. Half ass uh, killer. Yeah. yeah, he knows him. You sure they're not the same guy? Nope. Okay. Half ass rapist is Glenn. <laughs> they're cousins. Glenn, the half ass rapist. That's mm-hmm. right. And he's a dwarf. Yeah, he is. <laughs> the the half ass rapist is uh, Greg the Jew. <laughs> uh, how about you there, Jeremy? Uh, Buffalo style. <laughs> okay. That's where we've planned all day to have sex, get to the point, realize, now nah, we eat a bunch of chicken wings, and then next day I jerk off on the toilet. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awful. That's the way it usually works. Right. Next question. Next time on Dr. Phil, how to talk to your child about blank? Pegging. <laughs> Fuck. Really? Yeah. No. Oh. You going to talk to yeah. kids about that? Well, they got to learn. <laughs> Eventually. They got to learn what daddy's actually doing. <laughs> oh, no. You see, kids, dad's not actually a homosexual. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not a real penis. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's made of rubber, kind of like your action figures. <laughs> oh, By the way, don't smell your G.I. Joe. <laughs> oh, that's you can awful. read all about this in my new book that... Uh, you know, fuck, I got no title. <laughs> <laughs> Band names, no problem. Title of that book, uh, yeah. visit uh, b- visit Buffalo Bill Stadium. You'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. Next time on Dr. Phil, how to talk to your child about why Aunt Jamie and Dad were wrestling in the bedroom. That one. How about you, Derek? Or uh, Jeremy? 
What, what was Aunt Janie's finishing move? <laughs> the pile driver. Okay. <laughs> no, that was that was Dad's. The last ride. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> no, because it was it was a rubber dildo. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I got a couple of things. Um, multi level marketing. <laughs> you got to get them hooked early. Right. Uh, how to spot a fraudulent therapist. <laughs> okay. How do you do that? Watch Dr. Phil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. That's that's the one thing that, that really keeps me from thinking he's any good. Is At the end, he's trying to hawk his fucking merch. It's, it's all <laughs> just a commercial to sell his fucking books. Well, sure. And his wife's fucking charity. Right. <clears throat> pisses do, me off. Do you remember back in the day when they had bum fights, the uh-huh. DVDs? Yeah. 100%. And the guy... The guy from that like made bum fights came on Doctor Phil, but completely like shaved his head, except for like the horseshoe that Doctor Phil has. Oh, and nice. came directly dressed as Doctor Phil. Sweet. Did the tried to do the accent, everything, and fucking Doctor Phil got so pissed he threw him off the yeah. show. <laughs> well, Doctor Phil just he invited him there so he could do that, so he could get a crowd pop, probably. Okay, you don't remember bum fights, Scotty? Bum fights, I remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, next question. If you were dating again, what would be your number one red flag to bail? Oh, she chews. Th- chews? Yeah. Chewing tobacco? Yes. If there's some chick that chews and then like swallows her chew. Gets it. To gets swallow it, anything, but, man. <laughs> but won't swallow my cum. We got a problem. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I've actually got a few of these. Uh, first one, Children. Okay. Number one. Uh, but this is a serious one. If she's rude to the waiter or waitress, get fucked. I'm out. Yeah. I, that means that she's not just going to be rude to you. She's going to be rude to everybody. How about you, Jeremy? Now, now, just to be clear, you're hitting that before you kick her. Oh, her one, away. 100%. Yeah, right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. With a giant dildo. Be yeah. nice to the waiter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pull it. Pull you got it. kids? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You missed your hand. <laughs> no, that's what I was going, going for. Oh. for that. Are you <laughs> sure? Because yeah. you put your hand up. To catch, I'm pretty to catch sure that. you missed your hand he didn't no, to eat. catch the mic. Yeah, uh, he didn't want the mic to fall over. Yeah, well, we, we all saw it. Um, anyway, what's the question? <laughs> the question is, if, <clears throat> excuse me, if you were dating again, what would be your number one red flag to bail? Uh, well, she thinks Scotty's cute. Um, I'm adorable. No, like a fucking, you know, a tarted midget. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's dead always dog. cute. Yeah, like a, right. yeah, in the way that a dead dog... <sighs> Freshly dead is still, you know, like you just put him to sleep. They're still, oh. they look like they, they're just sleeping. That's yeah, they're still up. peaceful. It sure is. Oh. Scotty, why'd you even bring it up? I don't know. God damn. Um, yeah, I don't know. Asian. <laughs> <laughs> but they make good food, Jeremy. Do they? <laughs> Dog. Is it worth it? <laughs> nah, probably not. Not after you've put it to sleep. I thought, I thought for sure you were going to say a Christmas fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many of them to list. I mean, <laughs> yeah, if she has a separate warehouse for all her Christmas shit. <laughs> she won't eat your apple turnovers <laughs> or your ass. <laughs> okay. If she yeah, declares so- your living room public. <laughs> it's got windows, Jeremy. Uh, all right. Next question. The next big Apple product, the I blank. Pager. <laughs> the pager, the, the right? pager, yeah. <laughs> See, what it does is you hook it on your hip, and then when somebody needs you, they beep you. It'll oh. beep. They'll dial that number, and then there'll be a little message on there, and then you're like, oh, shit, 911, that's important, and then you got to call them back. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to be the next thing, or or the iCarumba. Oh, what's that? That is a little device that predicts the future based on what happened on The Simpsons. <laughs> okay. All right. Based solely off Simpsons t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with the iWife. That's a real one. Imagine that uh, you're going to have a, a sex doll that can't really talk and just does what she's told. 
Me. I already have that. In number, my wife, number one bestseller. No, she can't talk. Yeah, only no. when only when I tell her she can, <laughs> <laughs> and complains about how often my dick's out. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and again, I'm like, "Hey, honey, how was your day?" Yeah, not yet. <laughs> All right, now you can tell me how your day was. <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? Uh, patch. <laughs> <laughs> and what it is is you put it over your put two. One over each eye, and it's got a screen on the back and little cameras on the front that show you what's going on. And you can see, and then there's display screens on the outside that look like eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Last question The best thing about being a man is blank. Oh, God, there's so many. There's tons. My God. God, there's peeing, standing up, getting paid more hourly. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go with getting ready in 10 minutes Ooh. for anything. Oh, yeah. That's a good that one. is fucking fantastic. And and part of that is just having it if you have to take a shit before you go. Otherwise, you can get ready in five. Yeah, probably. Um, In all seriousness, I got a real one. That's my real one. No, my real well, Okay, okay. Uh, my real one is uh, racing the toilet when you go to the bathroom. You do that? Oh, you flush before you're done? Yep. Yeah. And try to beat it. I, I uh. used to when I was stupid. <laughs> I thought you said erasing the toilet, like where you piss off the skid marks <laughs> no, in the bowl. No. I like doing that, <laughs> except whenever they're not my skid marks. No, you flush the toilet before you're done, and you try to beat it. And, uh, yeah. and if you don't beat it, you got to flush twice. Well, We're playing melty ice moment. at a public urinal. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely you're, true. You're a fucking laser beam at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you have a superpower. Yeah. Writing your name in in the snow all the time, yeah. Jeremy, uh, just being able to hold your ball <laughs> whenever you feel like it. I'm serious. At home, if I'm relaxing, hands are on my balls <laughs> <laughs> at all times, and it's great. Yeah, because it's not gay. Yeah, because they're your balls. They're my balls. Ooh, I just thought of another one. Putting your hands on Jeremy's balls. Yeah, nice. No, um, go, Jeremy. I, no, how you about you know what? We did talk about touching tips and whatnot. So. <laughs> <laughs> We've been promising nudity for a while on yeah. this show. No, I got. I really do. I got a real, another real one. Oh, Getting God. with as many women that you want to and not being called a whore for it. That's real. Uh, I think they'll call you a whore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not as demeaning. But anyways, guys, that is uh, questions and preguntas for this week's episode. Again, if you do have any good suggestions, if you can, try to figure out. Make sure we haven't done that question before. Uh, and send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Uh, we still have uh, Twitter up and running. Uh, you can uh, send us messages on there, too. I forgot about that. That is at Sidliners Pod. Uh, send us uh, all of your suggestions. We do appreciate all of those that are uh, pretty good ones. Uh, but now we get to move on to... Uh, a very, very popular part of this uh, show, which is uh, the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, I suck at these now. I'm awful. I lose every time. Yeah, it's because you're a piece of shit. I lost mm -hmm. to Steve. Yeah, you should have. Yeah. I mean, Steve's pretty good. But Steve's way better than you. <clears throat> yeah. Ever. Right. At basically everything. Right, I know. Just a better person. I know. Uh, you know he can host a podcast. <laughs> he can. Jesus. Uh, but he anyway. wasn't so busy being better than Scotty. <laughs> Uh, but because uh, Derek was not here the last two weeks, he is going to get the honorary first pick. Okay. Uh, I get the middle pick, and Jeremy gets the championship picks. He won last week. Uh, this week's draft is going to be the, uh, what, do we, what do you want to call it? Our favorite flash-in-the-pan athletes? Mm -hmm. Favorites? Is that okay. what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right we'll do yes. that. Basically, Fav athletes who came in... With a lot made of hype. a big splash, not with a lot of hype. Okay, athletes who came in made a big splash. Were the, really good for a very short period of time, whether it be a game or a month or a season or whatever. Got a lot of then you know that built a lot of hype around them, and then they just fell off the mat. Okay, sounds good. Yep, Derek, you get first pick, dude. Peyton Hillis. Ooh, that is a good one. All right, even Madden covered. 
Yeah, he did. That yeah, was yeah. that was uh, the continue of the curse. Do, 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 do. All right. I think I'm going to go with uh, – I'm going to go with Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He made a big splash right <laughs> over the back seat of his car. <laughs> he sure did. Not talking cum, folks. <laughs> so that's my first pick. You weren't? I wasn't. No. Oh. Jeremy, you get two. Okay, you got Buster Douglas. Damn it. That was one of mine. Cross him off. Yeah. And I'm going to go with uh, RG3. Ooh, that's Ooh, a good that, one. That is a good one. Is he, He's still in, he's still a player, I isn't he? I think he's backing up at Baltimore. He was. I, I don't I, know if I don't he's know. anymore. No, I don't think he was. I don't know. Well, well I'll, who cares? That's a good one. That is a good one. Um, I'm going to go with my second pick being, uh, I'm going to go Tim Tebow. Okay. Man, he tried everything. Won a playoff game though. Yep. So kudos to him. Derek, you get two. I go Jeremy Lin. Mm. Damn it. That was one I was hoping would come back late. Lin Sanity. Lin Sanity. Mm -hmm. Not really. One more. Uh, And speaking of Lin, let's go Philip Lindsay. Okay. he's a, He had a pretty decent year this year, didn't he? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I'm kind of glad because um, I uh, I wanted to pick this last time, but I, I did. I risked it. I'm going to go with uh, Josh Gordon. Okay. Okay. Up in smoke. All right. Yep. Jeremy. Uh. Mm, God yeah. damn it. You get two. I mean, the the biggest one that I can ever recall. One I let you have. Is Doug Williams. Okay. okay. What sport did he play? Football. Okay. He was a backup quarterback for the Washington Redskins, and I believe it was Mark Rippon was the starter, and he was the NFL MVP that year, and he got hurt in the uh, NFC Championship game. So this complete unknown comes into the Super Bowl and just fucking torches mm-hmm. the Denver Broncos. Nice. And that offseason, everybody wants to sign him as their starter, and he just completely petered out and showed exactly why he had been a backup. <laughs> Fair enough. To that point. I believe he, at that time, set a record for most passing yards and most passing touchdowns in a Super Bowl. Huh. Wow. Um, let's see. One more. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I've got so many here. <laughs> All right. So, Doug Williams, um, I can't decide. Just don't this take one, mine. This one's near and dear to uh, Derek's heart. Tuffy Rhodes. Ooh, go with Tuffy Rhodes. Okay. Okay. Came in, hit three home runs in his rookie first game of his rookie season, and now don't think he hit another one. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think the next – the two I've got, I don't think Derek's going to want to take either of them. So I'm going to go with one I think he would take, which is Vince Young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's what I was kind of waffling yep. between. And then, Derek, you get your last two. Say Matt Flynn. Matt Flynn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kind of the same, he was, along the same. Was he a Packers backup? Yeah. Right. Then the Seahawks team. signed him, and then they drafted Russell Wilson, and the rest is history. Yep. He got, Ooh. what is it? What do you call that? What's that slang term that you use? The guy that... Uh, Fuck me right in the fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> that one? No, no, no. Not that. Whenever you uh, take a break or get hurt. Oh, Wally Pip. Wally Pip. Got Wally Pip. There you go. And Derek, you get one more. Uh, I'm looking this up to see if this counts uh, as a flash in the pan. Okay. You can tell me what you think. I was going to say Chris Johnson. Yeah. Mm, that's, yeah. I'd say so. He had like two or three good seasons. He had like 2,000 dis- yards and then never did a fucking thing. And made, dis- him, made him the highest paid running back in the league. And Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say Chris Johnson. I, I like that pick, actually. CJ2K. Yeah. Um, the one I, I knew it was going to eventually fall to me, but I think this is a, this is a big one, but Eric Gagne. He won. It's gag me. It's <laughs> Gagne. Yeah. Um, he won the freaking Cy Young. And then uh, after he won the Cy Young, that epic story about him Roids. and Bonds. Huh? Roids. That too. But but him and Bonds, where he uh, 
he he made a deal with them that whenever they face, as long as it wasn't a game uh, fragile thing, yeah, you know. And he told him what he was going to throw, and just to see who was the better player. And Bonds fucking took him yard. So, um, mm-hmm. Eric Gagne is my last pick. Jeremy, you get, what's your last pick? Uh, I'm I'm waffling on this one too. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and go with my heart on this. Kimbo Slice. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a good a, one. that is a good one. Damn, you had a few good ones there. I thought you were going to go with old Bob Hamlin. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, the hammer. <laughs> Bob Hamlin. I had uh, Derek Anderson. Yeah. And then Jerome Walton. Uh, I had Brian Bosworth. He was never really a – he was just a bust. He, he was – yeah, he was a bust. But, but it was an of, injury bust. He was a decent Bo enough. Bo Jackson trucked his ass. Yeah, you know? Bo Jackson trucked everybody. That's, <laughs> that's not a – there's no shame in that. He was like an all-pro for two seasons, and then he got hurt. And then he yeah. fell off the face of the earth. But I, I don't think he could ever come back. No. Uh, what about Tim Lincecum? Ooh. No, he's no, multiple he's, Cy Youngs. Yeah, and then... And yeah, then, for like two years and then nothing. He's still playing. Yeah, but, I mean, he was... For for a solid two seasons, he was the most dominant pitcher in baseball, and then you hardly ever hear about the guy You anymore. can do that with Johan Santana, too. Mm-hmm. But, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can. My favorite thing, I think, it's been on the show about Bo Jackson was Derek's joke about how if, if you got trucked by Bo Jackson, he would knock your soul out of, all the way through your asshole. That was Jeremy's <laughs> joke, I think. Was it? Wasn't mine. Uh-uh, oh, it was yeah. yours. Oh, okay. You said it'd feel good just for a second. <laughs> uh, anyway. Lynn Bias. Speaking of baseball mm-hmm. a little bit, because Bo Jackson played baseball, did you guys see that uh, Barry Bonds, if the voting was right now, is mm-hmm. in the Hall of Fame. No. Yeah, he you have to have seventy five percent. He's at like seventy eight. Oh, the no, they no. vote next week. Jesus, uh, I believe. Yeah, they vote next week. I think the twenty second is voting. Oh, great! I'm so I'm so torn on him because before the steroids, he still had a Hall of Fame career for sure. Yeah. Here's the thing. But he's such a prick. He is a douche. If you let him in, everybody all else these comes. other yes. guys that you didn't let in that you like McGuire. Mm-hmm. And Sosa, who didn't get in, Clemens. You have to. Clemens is is possibly in now too. Both yeah. of them. Uh, you got to go back. You got to figure something out because you cannot let those guys in and not let McGuire or Sosa in. I you agree. know who I heard just the other day, and I did no research to check this out. Just like most Americans, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know who surprised the fuck out of me? And let me let me just okay. verify this real quick. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Was it a Jack in the Box? It gets me every time. Yeah, every time. Yeah, it's it like it no. I mean the mascot for the restaurant. Oh, he just oh, yeah. showed up at the house. Did he? And uh, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Oh, well, he got damn. He's like, I got um, cheeseburgers and tacos. What do you want? Who are the other? Who are the other ones that that were almost in while he's looking that up? That are all steroid guys. Uh, the ones that are in right now. Uh, if you look at the voting, I think Clemens was just short, but it's still time. Yeah. Bonds is right at the cusp. Yeah. And then I think maybe Ortiz. No, he's he's a shoe, and I don't think Victor. No, David Ortiz. Oh, David Ortiz. Big Poppy. Oh, okay. Yeah, those guys. But I mean, you got maybe the greatest clutch hitter of all, all time. time. Yeah, he be- didn't he hit over five hundred in the playoffs one year, the year they won the World Series. He's a, he's a hall of. He'll get in, but right. I I think if you let Bonds in. You've got the the rest the the gates open up. You have to figure out how you because yeah like Sosa. I think last year was his last year on the ballot. McGuire's off the ballot. Yeah, so you got to. I don't know how you rectify that situation. I don't either. Anyway, you know who I heard is not in the Hall of Fame, and it turns out this is true. Hmm. Dale Murphy. Okay. Do you remember him? No. Yeah, Phillies, Braves, Braves. He was. I mean, he was the Braves star in the eighties. Mm-mm. I mean, I thought for sure he was a first ballot Hall of Famer. Wow, I, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't know who that is. I didn't. I'm, That's because yeah. you're not smart, yeah, Scotty. You're very unintelligent, right? But anyways, that is our draft for this week. Our flash in the pan athletes. Uh, you can go and vote on which list you like best. Uh, by clicking on the corresponding emoji with that list, it'll be on Facebook uh, slash Laughing on the Sidelines podcast uh, on Wednesday, a little bit before noon Central Standard Time. So, uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Oh. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation of the Week, brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, you know, the morning of January 12th, 1888, started off as a pretty warm and temperate uh, morning for, for that time of year. But uh, by middle of the day, around noonish or so, a huge blizzard came in, a huge blizzard front that caught everybody by surprise. It it was as far north as Minnesota and North Dakota, and it got all the way down into Kansas. All right. Um, the problem with that is, is that... Uh, most people left their house without adequate clothes, and um, most people didn't have an adequate supply of uh, heating oil. Back then, it was mostly one-room schoolhouses, especially in the Midwest, and the proper protocol when that happened was for teachers just to keep the kids in the, uh, the one-room schoolhouses, in their classrooms, until their parents could come to get them, which, of course, their parents could not get them because it was a fucking blizzard. Um <laughs> Basically, as a result, uh, the temperatures got down to as low as 51 degrees below zero. Holy shit. And uh, by the end of the day, a bunch of people froze to death. <laughs> uh, all in all, it claimed the lives of 235 people, including uh, 213 school children. <laughs> and um, now your child can recreate the magic <laughs> of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and a whole bunch of fucking Legos. <laughs> Legos. Burn the fucking Legos for heat if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gosh dang it. All right. What is this week's shitty situation, Derek? I don't know. Come on, man. What? Come on. Please. You, I, I would, always do. I don't think we should do one this week. Yeah. Okay, fine. We'll just go. All keep, right, laughing, keep laughing, assholes. assholes. <laughs> What's the shitty situation? All right. <laughs> God damn. Jeremy, don't swing. fuck with me. Seriously, <laughs> do not fuck with me, guys. All right. Uh, they used to do this at Wrigley, I know. Uh, I'm sure they do it at other places, too. Uh, would you rather uh, do the urinal trough slide, mm -hmm. where you take your shirt off and you just slip and slide all the way down the urinal trough? Oh, that's great. Well, those yeah. slip and slides, not when they're full of piss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or would you rather accidentally uh, your, send a picture of your wiener to every contact <laughs> in your phone? <laughs> Trying to be a little romantic with the wife, send her one, boom, everybody gets that picture. Uh, well, I'm seeing all y'all dick pic. Sorry. Yeah. I am not sliding through piss. And if it's at Wrigley, there's got to be shit in that trough too. No, that's piss. It's shit yeah. too. So I don't care. I'm not. I'm not ashamed. You've never even been to Wrigley. I'm not even. I'm not even ashamed. I'm okay with what, with what I got. You packing. Shit in, you shit in the urinal trough. You'll get your ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> that would well, be funny as fuck to try and do. <laughs> so everybody turn. just lined up pissing, and you're backwards going, <laughs> reading the paper. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'd be okay. Everybody be like, whose porn star dick did somebody send me? Who sent me Bucky Larson's penis? <laughs> <laughs> Bucky Larson. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sending the dick pic. to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy got it. Yeah. I know Bucky. I went yeah. to school with Bucky. How about, how about you, Derek? Neither. Jeremy? <laughs> Okay, fine. Yeah, neither. Yeah. All right. You're just going to weasel out of everything. I didn't everything. know that was an option until just now. <laughs> <laughs> I really could have been getting off easy this whole fucking time. Oh, boy. Uh, I would... I'd probably do the slide. What? I'd probably do the urinal slide you and are. send everybody in my... I got, like, fucking 400 contacts it's in my phone. so... Piss washes off. Piss will wash off. <laughs> that stains forever. I. Uh, That's going to be somebody's fucking Christmas card. <laughs> and it won't even be flattering. It'll be like one of the elves. <laughs> it is, it's, it'll be the L and Noel. Yeah. Right. It's gonna, somebody's going to jib jab my dick into yeah. a fucking dancing elf. Right. I, yeah, I got to go with the fucking piss slide as much. And I'll vomit. Ugh, yeah. I, that's where I got to go. We've okay. all puked. We've all been there. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? I'm going with the dick pic, and I'll tell you why. Um, I still, I'm pretty sure in my contacts, I still have my son's uh, vice principal's <laughs> number. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure just 
he might swing that way. <laughs> <laughs> so he get an honest critique. And I think he honestly was trying to cover it up. I, I he probably at that time would have been mm-hmm. fired had he come out openly. Sure. And um, and that's not right. And I should reward him okay. with a picture of my junk. There you go. So that he can see what my wife sees. All fuck. <laughs> now, are you going to do the bat wing like you would? Oh no, it'll be something tasteful. <laughs> okay, something like in a in a football jersey or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, great. Mine would be of uh, like with a belt. That that picture you described last mm-hmm. week of uh, me wearing the belt, and my dick hanging out just just enough. I think okay. that'd be that'd be what I'd go with. Okay. I'd put mine next to a Hot Wheel, but tell them it's a real car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. That is a real Pontiac Fiero. <laughs> that is what that is. <laughs> All right, what happened is I got near some radiation. Oh, Hot Wheels, get out the micro machine, I bro. Would, I would text you back. Is that real? <laughs> is that really the Batmobile? <laughs> Your dick's as big as the Batmobile? <laughs> when did you get a Batmobile? <laughs> That's what I would be concerned. <laughs> I care about your dick. I, you got a fucking Batmobile and a, oh, and a DeLorean. I'll happily look at your dick if I can ride in that Batmobile. <laughs> Which I'll, Batmobile are you going with, by the way? Michael Keaton Batmobile. Oh, for oh, sure. okay. That's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, that's you don't want to go with the Adam West, huh? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is our episode for this week. Uh, keep on doing what you're doing, sharing the show, getting new people to come uh, and check us out. There's been quite a few new listeners and watchers actually on youtube we're growing quite because i've been gone i know right um but yeah you've got uh, you've got shows coming up obviously you said that at the beginning of the show and yep. what's what's the earliest one that's coming the saturday in ellenwood kansas there you go yep. so if you're in that uh neck of the woods which i know we have a lot of listeners in the kansas area uh, do you know what bar it's at or what, what I, club? Fuck, I don't know. I just know I'm going with I, Mike Baldwin. I, <laughs> okay. I've been to Ellenwood. It's at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you so much for listening to the show and sharing it with your friends. We always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends and family. But if you do not like us... Uh, we hope you get stuck on a rock climbing wall made of dildos <laughs> and you have to call for help. <laughs> If you don't like us, uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. I'm stuck on Band-Aid because Band-Aid's stuck on me. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.